dear student dear friends right now we are going to learn about the adjustment of video size and position in adobe premiere pro so let's take a look okay we already imported the number of video footages from our exercise file and i want to i want to place this pixels c technical video footage in our sequence timeline and you can remember it this is the 4k resolution of video footage so let me drag and drop this video footage in our sequence timeline and as we seen before as it is a 4k videos that's why it's not covering with our frame size and that's why we have to scale it and you know how to scale it to scale this 4k video with our sequence frame size you just have to select this video footage then you have to right click with your mouse then you will get this scale to frame size option okay let me click on this scale to frame size option okay cool right now it's properly scaled with our frame size but if you want to adjust the position of this video footage how you will do that you can do that very easily not even only adjustment how you can use the custom scale for this video footage how you can use the custom height and custom width for this video footage how you can do that you can do that very easily so you just have to select this video footage please make sure this video footage is selected then you have to go for effect controls option so this is the effect controls option okay you have to click on this tab then you will get the different type of settings so at first you can take a look here is an option called scale so let me show you the use of scale okay you can take a look we have a hundred percent scale size in here and if you want to increase or decrease the scale size for these videos, you can do that easily. So if you think this scale size is till yet is bigger, then you can reduce the scale size. So how we can do that? Right now we have 100% of scale size. So you can put the manual values in here like you want to put 50% scale size or 75% scale size so you can put the manual values okay I just put 75% and then you have to press the enter button from your keyboard after putting the values you can take a look right now we have the 75% scale for this video footage you can go for 50% and if you want to use more than 100%, you can do that. So let me place 150%. Now, it goes much bigger than our actual frame size. And some of the part like roof and some of the bookshelves are gone outside of our program monitor. You have to remember one thing that is the preview that's appeared inside the program monitor that will be exported to your actual video file so what you have to edit what do you have to compose you have to make sure that's scaled with your actual program monitor so right now we have the 150 percent scale that's why we don't have the actual roof we don't have the entire room views as because we used more than 100 percent scale size and if you keep this setting the video will be exported in this format so let me get back to 100 percent now it's fine now we have the actual preview of this video footage and if you save right now and if you export right now then you will have the actual view of this video footage let me show you an another things about scale okay so let me let me increase 
the scale size you can use your mouse you just have to drag and you have to move your mouse cursor at right then the scale will be increased instead of putting the manual values and if you move your mouse cursor at left then the scale will be decreased so let me increase and decrease the scale okay you can take a look scale is increasing and now i'm decreasing the scale size okay you can take a look when i'm increasing the scale size it's make an adjustment i mean an automatic adjustment with height and width so let me decrease the scale and it's automatically keeping a ratio for increasing and decreasing the scale size about the height and width okay so this is an automatic adjustment okay but if you don't want to keep this automatic adjustment if you want to put some manual height and manual width value how you can do that you can do that very easily you can take a look we have an option called uniform scale and it's turned on right now you just have to turn it off when you will turn it off you will have the value for putting about the scale width so let me turn it off this uniform scale so you can take a look right now we have two field we have the scale height field we have the scale width field so right now we can put the manual values like you want to increase the height so you can only increase the height for this video footage right now so let me increase the height okay this looks really weird so let me place a perfect height okay 100 percent so if you want to change the width you can change it manually so right now as you have the option for putting the manual values so let me show you i am increasing the width i'm decreasing the width increasing decreasing increasing decreasing so now you can you can use the width or height that is really required with your videos so now i just reduced the scale height okay so this is the process for putting the manual values or changing the manual height and width for the videos okay cool now let's focus about the position you can take a look we have a parameter called position and we have two values one is for moving left and right and another is for moving up and down i mean top or bottom so if you want to if you want to move this video footage at left side then you have to use this parameter you have to reduce the number or you just have to drag your mouse and then you have to move at left and you have to reduce the point then the video footage will left at move and if you want to move it at right side then you have to increase the values or you have to move your mouse at right side then the video footage will move at right okay so left right left right decreasing the number increasing the number decreasing the number increasing the number okay cool so this is about the left and right and this field is for top and bottom so if you want to move this video footage at top then you have to reduce the number okay let me use the mouse and let me drag and reduce the number okay i am reducing the number and i'm moving my mouse at left side okay 
it's moving at top and if you want to take it bottom then you have to increase the number or you have to move the mouse at right side okay then it comes in bottom top bottom top bottom so this is the simple way or this is the very easiest way for moving your video footage for actual positioning at top at bottom at left or at right so it's really very easy so i hope right now you know about the use of scale you know about the use of position how to make change the position of the video how to scale the video so i'm pretty sure right now you know it but if you have any question regarding this lesson don't hesitate to ask me please 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 if you have any question you just have to message me i'm always there for you to helping out okay so see you in next lesson bye bye